sun and light. In the content of sun and light, space flight is an object that has been initially placed into orbit. These objects are called artificial satellites to distinguish them from natural satellites such as herbs and moons. On the 4th of October 1957, the Soviet Union launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. Since then, about 8,900 satellites from more than 40 countries have been launched. According to a 2018 estimate, about 5,000 remain in orbit. Of these 1,900, was operational, while the rest have exceeded their useful lives and became space degree. Satellites are used for many purposes. Among several other applications, they can be used to make star maps and maps of planetary surfaces and also take pictures of planets. They are also lost into common types include military and civilian Earth observatories, satellites, communication satellites, navigation satellites, weather satellites, and space telescope space stations and human spacecrafts in orbit are also satellites. Satellites can operate by themselves or as part of a larger system of satellite formations or satellite constellations. Satellites orbit varies greatly depending on the purpose of the satellites and are classified in a number of ways. Well-known overlapping classes include low Earth orbit, polar orbit, or geostationary orbit. A launch vehicle is a rocket that places a satellite into orbit. Usually it lifts off from a launch pad on land. Some are launched at sea from a submarine or a mobile maritime platforms or aboard a plane. Satellite are usually semi-independent. Computer control systems. Satellite subsystem attended many tasks such as power generation, telemetry, attitude control, scientific, and the middle communication. A lot of people look at satellites as just another way of the world government spying on them. Satellites also observe all information. The satellites also observe you. It's like the world government watching us from outer space. Watching us turn on our light bulbs and do that electricity. They're watching us through our homes. And then one day some brilliant person say smart TVs also watches you. As you watch your television set, it watches you. As we, as we sit in our car, SUVs, our vehicles, and traffic lights, satellites and outer space is doing more than just sitting there looking for a flying saucer to fly back or looking for space degrees or an asteroid the size of a football field that's going to smash into Earth. And it never happened. The satellites are placed there also, like Sputnik 1, by the Soviet Union, to see what we're doing, to watch us. The world saw Sputnik 1 as a super weapon that Russia had that can watch you. So everyone wanted a satellite to watch you. And that's the perfect satellite, artificial satellites. Not be confused with natural satellites like the Earth's and moons. It's part of the world government way of saying, I want to know what you're doing. Is this a visible wireless system that we're using? 
This is the visible wireless system that we are accustomed to. We wake up in our daily life and we say we're free. I would rather be in this country suffering than any country in the whole world. We're free. But how free are you? If you turn your cell phone on, it's watching you. How free are you? In reality, in real life, how free are you? NSA have information on me that I don't know about. I can pick my phone up and do a credit report and they say, this is a course to make sure you are, you are who you say you are. In the year in 1995, what kind of car did you drive? What color was it? And for one moment, I forget what the car I drove and what color it was. They said, we'll give you one more chance to prove you are who you say you are. Because the system know more about me than I know about me. Satellites, artificial satellites in space. There's so much in this world we live in that goes unreported. There's so much in this world we live in we don't know. Now someone sit here, call me, text me, and say, Sammy, do you think we should really know why there's artificial satellites around the world? I think we should know the purpose why they put there. But the data, the information that they, they retrieve from put there, I say it's not mankind's business. I still think governments should have government files. It should be secret. I think the governments in the world should have the right to have files on their citizens and their visitors to their nations. Because you share that information with mankind, the public. Everyone will want to be a superhero. Everyone will have an ideal. But we can also use those satellites more. We can do this with these satellites if we can do that. That's why so many times I guess the government shakes their head and say, Really, the people don't have to know. Of a headache of the general public really knew what we was doing behind closed doors. Space Satellite Network. The United States Space Satellite Network, the SSN, a division of the United States Strategy Command, have been tracing objects in Earth orbit since 1957 when the Soviet Union's open space age with the launch of Sputnik 1. Since then, the United States Space Surveillance Network, the SSN, has tracked more than 26,000 objects. The SSN currently tracks more than 8,000 artificial orbiting objects. The rest have re-entered Earth atmosphere. Or survive re-entry and impact the Earth. SSN tracks orbits that are 10 centimeters in the ground and larger. These now orbiting Earth range from satellites weighing several tons to pieces of spent rocket bodies weighing only 10 pounds. About 7% are operational satellites and the rest are space degree. The United States Strategy Command is primarily interest in activity satellites but also tracks space degree which upon re-entry might otherwise be mistaken for incoming missiles. When a satellite reaches the end of their mission, this normally occurs three or four years later after launch. Satellites operate have the options to deorbit the satellite, leaving the satellite in a current orbit, or moving the satellite to a graveyard orbit. Historically, due to budget constraint at the beginning of a satellite mission, satellites are rarely designed to 
B D over it. So satellites is left into space and we use a space debris. Please help support my YouTube channel. I am now on Patreon, but you can um, make donations to keep my audio podcast, semi video plus audio, and semi video plex continue to grow. I'm asking for your support to keep my channel and my podcast in a survival mode. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, liking, YouTube, Anchor, Public Radio. And I will read more about this new app. One of my friends from liking told me about Telegram app. I started reading it, but then again, I read a lot. So I didn't finish reading about Telegram app. So in the future, I might say you might can follow me on Telegram app. But until then, I want to wish everyone the best. We have satellites in space. They're not watching us. They've done other purposes, like watching for stars and asteroids and space debris and things in and out atmosphere. And what we see in the skies at night, well, let's look at that aerial phenomenon. Hello, I'm down here. Look at this aerial phenomenon. It might just be a deer satellite. My name is Sammy. Thank you very much for viewing Sammy Videoplex. Thank you very much for viewing Sammy Videoplex. And I hope I see you in the next episode of Sammy Videoplex. Most satellites are computer controlled. They don't have to be a manned mission. Satellites. It's only orbiting above us. For the information they can retrieve from outer space. Satellites not put in 